Usually during every plan with me video, I have one or two spreads that stand out as a favorite, but every now and then a plan with me comes around where all of the spreads for different reasons capture my eyeballs. And that's what June spreads are for me. So hopefully you feel the same way when you watch what I put together. Before diving in, a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video, the all-in-one platform that I use to run CaitlinDeSilva.com. I'll be talking more about them later. Make sure that subscribe button has been hit. And if you want a dosage of motivation every Monday morning, I encourage you to check out the description box below and sign up for my weekly newsletter. I send out a Monday morning newsletter every week with new challenges and tips and ideas. That's all the housekeeping, let's get into the spreads. I've done a lot of things with craft paper in my bullet journal, but when I was thinking about concepts for June spreads, the idea of craft paper swirls kept popping into my head. So I just had to push forward with this concept. You're also seeing me paste in some photos that caught my eye on Pinterest, which for your convenience, I have included all of them in one PDF that's linked in the description box below. And I just think the printed out images, graphics, and craft paper really came together nicely. Then I went in with my Micron and the size 08 to draw out a small calendar grid for the month of June. You guys know by now how much I just love this size for outlining. In that description box you'll also find links to all of the products you see me use in today's video including a special promo on my bullet journal. <laughs> Habit trackers are always super convenient to include alongside the month at a glance page. So I use the same micron pen and ruler to draw out three grid habit trackers. One of my favorite parts about a 30 day month is just how perfect the grids end up turning out. It's so satisfying. And the three habit trackers were designated for tracking hydration, working out and taking a moment each day to express gratitude. Maybe at some point in the future, I'll try something a little bit more intricate for my habit trackers because I've really been opting for the grid layout lately, but the grids are so easy to draw and so easy to fill in. It's hard to pull away from them. At this point, the spread felt like it needed some black doodling elements on the top of the page. So I wrote out a definition for June, month six of the 21st year, and then I sprinkled in other doodles throughout the pages. I know what you're thinking. Caitlin, I love watching you create these spreads, but I'd love it even more if I could feast my eyes on them in photo form. Well, I have great news because you can access photos of all of my bullet journal spreads on CaitlinDeSilva.com. And that's all thanks to Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes starting, designing, and updating a blog of your own easier than ever. Squarespace has an incredible selection of beautiful templates to choose from so your blog can look clean and professional. I use the template Stanton for my site, but there are also templates that have been optimized for online stores, portfolios, and more that can all be previewed before you choose a design. So if you've been wanting to start a blog talking about your passion for coffee mugs or looking for a place on the web to share your photos with potential clients, Squarespace has got you covered. And the best part, you can check out squarespace.com today for a free trial and use the URL squarespace.com slash Caitlin's Corner to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I always like to keep my spreads throughout the month cohesive, so I kept with the theme of the first spread by adding in more photo, craft, and blush pink elements. I really adore this particular craft paper swirl I posted into the right page. I just think as far as a swirl goes, it's a quality one, if I do say so myself. Both of these pages, in addition to having complementary design elements, were also made to have complementary content. The left page is a spot for me to keep track of June monthly favorites like my favorite song, my favorite movie, and or TV show, my favorite book, and my favorite memory. These kinds of record keeping entries are interesting pages to revisit in the future. They're just like a walk down memory lane. I love it. Whereas the left page is geared towards reflecting on the past, the right page is targeted towards the future with a get shit done mini to-do list of things I don't always want to get done, but often need to get done. Items such as doing the laundry, scrubbing my tub, reviewing my spending, meal prepping, descaling my coffee machine, etc., etc. Definitely not the most exciting list out there, hence the reason I have a much more inspiring energy givers quote glued onto the same page. There's a real balancing act happening here. 
probably my favorite design choice this month was my decision to add these black lines to the gaps of the craft paper swirl. I'm really starting to get concerned about how much I love talking about lines on this channel, but whether they're straight, swirly, diagonal, or vertical, they're so easy to integrate into a layout. And as I feel is the case here, it also just brings everything together. 10 out of 10 in my book. the last pieces of paper I have with these beautiful pressed flowers so I wanted to make it the star of the show by covering both pages completely with it. It's moments like this when I'm really glad to have glue tape though because it makes the process mess free which I appreciate. Summer is coming in June so I felt like it was a fitting time to write out a list of summer activities I want to do this year. One of the things I always like to do when the warmer weather comes around is investigate my closet to see if I have any staple pieces missing from my wardrobe. I also want to take advantage of the nice weather and make a point of going to some coffee places around the city that I don't typically adventure to. And then there's some other things I need to do such as installing my AC unit into my apartment and doing some plant maintenance such as repotting. Most of you are aware of this by now, but if you didn't know, all of my grandparents were born and raised in Portugal. So my background is Portuguese. And although I have a decent basic understanding of the Portuguese language, when I hear it, my speaking abilities have never been anything special. So throughout the years, I've dabbled into practicing the language. But one of the things I wanna do this summer is try challenging myself to a month long Portuguese practice where I take 20 minutes every day for 30 days to practice Portuguese and also consume some more Portuguese content, whether that be on YouTube or even through music. Trying to learn something new can be a really great way to add some variety and excitement to life. And this time of the year always feels like an opportunity to be refreshed. So wish me luck in pursuing this challenge this summer. Really hoping I stay committed. At the bottom of the page, I added in a blank section to write down any belas palavras, which is what Google told me translates to beautiful words in Portuguese. So anytime I come across a beautiful Portuguese word I don't wanna forget, I have a designated spot for it. The craft paper swirl made its last return along with some other Pinterest images that had caught my eye. Each day of this week for this weekly spread got its own vertical rectangle aside from Saturday and Sunday, which I combined into one because they are not usually to-do list heavy days. One of the advantages of printing out photos that are a bit on the lighter side is that you can draw on top of them. So one of the aspects about this page I really liked is the fact that the weekly to-do list sections do cross over on that beach photo on the right and on top of the blush pink square, which makes those elements look like they're really ingrained into the spread. And visually, I just think it makes it more interesting to dissect. To fill in the small gaps, I added in a small spot to keep track of meal ideas and on the left page I wrote down a note saying, fingers crossed for sunny days because the sun in Toronto during May had been a bit more sparse than I would have liked. So it will be appreciated if June is a bit sunnier. And then instead of doing horizontal lines for the gaps by the craft paper swirl, I opted for some simple confetti. A classic, a Caitlin classic for me. I want to hear which spread was your favorite this month and if you had to learn a language for 30 days which language would it be and why thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video do not forget to click the link in the description box below to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain like the video if you enjoyed it hit subscribe and the notification bell if you haven't already and I'm gonna I'm gonna head out thanks for watching mm -hmm.